I'd like to talk to you about the welfare cost of excise taxation. So I wrote up there, welfare cost of excise tax. We're going to be using an indifference curve and a budget constraint to show this. I already drew my AOG for all other goods on the vertical axis. We'll assume the price is a dollar. Gas is on the horizontal axis. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a budget constraint. I'm going to use a ruler because a lot of times it's not the easiest thing to see in my handwriting, so I have to be careful since I'm writing on a little tiny piece of plastic here. So let's see right there. So there it is. There's my, it's supposed to be a perfectly straight line. There's my, I'm going to put M for income. And for the amount of gas, this would be if I only bought all other goods, no gasoline. This would be if I only bought gasoline, this point right here, and no other goods. I'm going to draw a indifference curve. It's going to be U0, let's call it. Now let's see if I can draw a point right from this point right here. Actually, I'm going to change my color. So they're going to tax me. So I'm going to put it in red. I'm not happy about this new gasoline excise tax. I thought it was red. Not quite red yet. Okay, so there's my new excise tax right there in red. Now, I'm going to draw my indifference curve. Just tangent to that, I'll call it U1. And so here we have this person purchasing this amount. So this amount of gas, I'll call it G. G. Actually, we just have zero up there. This is on the one curve, so we'll call it G1. So this point right here. So this was our original equilibrium. We'll call it E0. Now I go to Oops, I thought I had red. Guess not. E1. But also, we have a case where we've taken gasoline, we've taxed it, higher gas prices, which we'll call, um, let's show we call that N prime right here. And so we've changed the relative price. We made gas more expensive, which rotated the curve in. Now for comparison, let's say I have a lump sum tax. Lump sum taxes do not distort prices. And we're going to make it so we are smart enough that we know exactly what this person's indifference curve is because we just drew it. And we're going to make it so it's just tangent to the original budget constraint. So let's use, uh, let's use, shall we use uh, blue? So let's see, it's going to take me a little bit of care to draw this because I want it just tangent to that line, but just touching this line down here. And lump sum tax is why we can do that. So we're going to tax. So lump sum tax, if I buy all the goods, I'll have the same tax. If I buy only gas, I'll have the same tax. It doesn't matter what I buy, I'll pay the same tax. So let's say I go right. Here, let's see. I think our line, oops. So we'll draw it like right this. Does that look pretty close to tangent? So what we're trying to do is go right through this E2, let's call it. So this would be my amount of gas. So that point right there, let's say, is G2. And uh, it's on the same indifference curve. And what we have here is this vertical distance. This is my equivalent variation. It's the amount of, it's like a lump sum tax that just puts me on the same level of utility as the new equilibrium, but it doesn't distort prices. The tax revenue, though, I'm going to put the tax revenue in red. It's kind of an orange. Let's see if I can get red. Eh, let's see what color comes up. Distance between here and here. 
it's our tax revenue and we just show the distance between here and here is our equivalent variation. Notice our equivalent variation is bigger than our tax revenue. And let's write revenue, make sure I get my spelling right there. And so the difference between the two is going to be my lump sum tax. Now what I would like to do is let's put it in green. Let's say we have a lump sum tax that is tangent to this point right here. Right. Let's see if I can get it right there. Is that almost the same? So it's just tangent. It gives me the same tax revenue. Notice my revenue, my tax revenue is the same. However, I don't have this equivalent variation. It's now, but I also can be at a higher indifference curve. Notice I can get to a higher le level of, of utility with this tax because I have the same tax revenue, but I, it's not as distortionary where this is a substitution effect. I substitute out of uh, the vertical distance is like pure income effect and I substitute out of gas into other goods because of this tax. In this case, I don't substitute out of gas into other goods. I don't distort my decisions by saying I'm going to buy less gas. So in that case, there's not going to be the dead weight loss up here. So the difference between this curve right here, or this uh, budget constraint, and this budget constraint, guess what? That's my dead weight loss, where DWL stands for dead weight loss. It's a welfare cost. It's the amount of, of what should we call it? It's how much I'm worse off I'm. I am because of, of this distortionary tax. It's the welfare cost of an excise tax is right there. So let's so I'm using dead weight loss. Welfare costs are the same thing. So there's my dead weight loss right there. The welfare loss or welfare cost of an excise tax. Quick re review for fun, because we love reviews, don't we? Start out here at uh, U0, E0. That was our equilibrium. Actually, it's equilibrium looks like it's right over here. And then we had a tax, rotated our budget constraint in because now it's more expensive and I don't have as many options. They made it so I can buy less stuff unless I can buy only all other goods. Now we draw, draw an indifference curve that shows my new equilibrium is right here at E1. But what would happen if I compensate myself so I'm on the same level of, of satisfaction, such as E, E2, same level of satisfaction would be on the same indifference curve. There I am at E2. I want to draw a lump sum tax that is just tangent to that point at E2 right there. That's pretty close, isn't it? The vertical distance between that budget constraint and that budget constraint is the equivalent variation, EV, equivalent variation. And my equivalent variation is bigger than my tax revenue. In other words, this um, lump sum tax that would give me the same tax revenue and a higher level of satisfaction, that's why we draw that little indifference curve saying, look, I could be happier. Not as happy as I was before when they didn't tax me because I like more money and they're taking it away from me. So there's my tax revenue. Notice that's the tax revenue right there. All points, vertical distance between these lines is the tax revenue. But now I'm at a higher indifference curve. Where all before, here I have this lower case. In other words, I gave up some well-being to give them this tax because I changed my decisions relative to this pure income effect. So I substituted out of gasoline into all other goods. Well, that substitution effect creates a dead weight loss. The DWL, or otherwise called a welfare cost, could also be called excess burden. Boy, people love a lot of names for this thing. Dead weight loss, welfare cost, excess burden. It's a pain.